Hey kids, it's me, Tony Holmperm, the singing diva of Long Island, here with another makeup review and creating a drag look. Of course, this is my specialty on my channel where I take a eyeshadow palette and I create a drag look from it. And of course, if that interests you, well then please hit the subscribe button down below so you can see all the videos that I do like this. Now today I'm playing with a very special palette. It is the Languid Chestnut Toad palette from Tammy Tanuka. Yeah, that's that's what it's called, okay? Uh, actually, I think that is the translation of the name of the palette uh, from Russian. Uh, maybe maybe it's something else, you know, specifically in Russian. I don't, I don't know, but. The English translate to Languid Chestnut Toad Palette. And uh, it comes in two sizes. There was a, a standard size and a mini travel vacation palette size. I, I think they listed it as. I'm not, I don't really remember. I said, let me try just getting it in the, in the mini size. And uh, when they say mini, it is mini. I'm going to uh, open this up and let you see the entire palette. It is small, very small, but I was intrigued by that and, uh, and I like it. It doesn't bother me that it's that small, especially since it's a, a brand I've never tried. And I think it's a great way to let people uh, dip their toes in the, into the water, so to speak, to try a new brand. I wish, I wish a lot of brands would consider doing something like this, have a, um, a, a mini version of the palette and then the, the, the standard size. It's almost like getting uh, samples of the product. Honestly, even though it's a mini, uh, it's eyeshadow. I mean, how often do we really hit pan on eyeshadow colors, except maybe for things like white and black? And maybe you have like one specific gray that you'll you'll always go through. But for the most part, most of our eyeshadow palettes, you never hit pan. So this is more than enough product um, to get a lot of looks out of. So that didn't bother me in the slightest. Now, when this palette came and uh, it came all the way from Russia and uh, it came pretty quick for coming all the way from Russia. So I was very, uh, very pleased about that. And I'm just gonna put up a, a picture of, and show you how it arrived. It came all tied up in this little uh, bundle. And uh, I thought that was so cute. And they also sent me uh, a, a pigment and a single eyeshadow along with the palette. Uh, so I was really quite happy to, to see that. I didn't actually use the pigment or the or the single in today's look, but uh, it was really nice of them to send that in the uh, in the package. Okay, and now of course, yes, I did swatch it, and let me put the swatches up on the screen for you to see. Now there is a listing on the back of the palette of the pans. Uh, I don't know if that's numbers or names. Um, it's all in Russian, and uh, I don't. I don't speak Russian, so I can't translate it. But uh, these are the six colors of the eyeshadow palette. Um, they were all very pigmented, very smooth, very blendable. Um, it swatched great. And uh, for such little pans, I mean, the, the colors went a long, long way. I can't make any complaints about that. So, those were the swatches of the Languid Chestnut Toad. And uh, I never thought I'd be putting a Toad palette on my eyes, but uh, never say never. And uh, this is the look that we created today with this palette. And um, I'm not going to say exactly what I think about it until I show you how I created the look. But... Um, I think you can I think you can guess. I think you can guess. Why don't I rewind everything, go back in time and show you how I created today's drag look 
using the Languid Chestnut Toad palette. Stick around. Okay, and we're back, and uh, I almost <sighs> jumped the gun and started to <laughs> the eye look before realizing, oh, wait a minute, I'm not even filming. Oh, what can I tell you? It's, it's a Monday morning. We just got through daylight savings time. I only had one cup of coffee, so you'll just have to forgive me. So I um, did do my base foundation, of course, glued the eyebrows down, created new eyebrows, and um, I used the palette for that. I used this brown color, and uh, I think they came out pretty good. I'm happy with them. So now we're going to start on the actual eye look. I'm not sure where we're going. I didn't feel like putting tape down. So I just did a, uh, a hard edge with the, I use this old expired Target gift card and I, I go like that and a little brush and I put some of this color down, this sort of grungy green brown. And I think we're just gonna start applying that and um, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm intrigued by this little palette. So let's just start putting some color down and uh, make some magic happen. I mean, right away, I have to say, it's very pigmented. Don't know what I did, but I made this eye start watering. Uh, so I hope it stops and doesn't ruin a look. Um, so far, so good. These colors are very pigmented. I think this brush is just a little too, too big, though. So let's use something a little smaller, like that. What is this? Just a, a Morphe brush. Looks pretty good. So far, so good. Let's do the same on the other side. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Did just a little bit of blending and uh, went ahead and cut my crease. Uh, I didn't go as high as I normally do with the crease. I wanted it to just be a little bit more subdued. Don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but that's what we did. So now I'm gonna apply some of these shimmers to the area where I cut out the crease. I, I still have the swatches on, so I'm uh, trying to decide, looking at the swatches, what to put where. And I think, I think what we're gonna do, are we gonna do three shimmers or just the one? Okay, I think, um, I think, well, not uh, two, two shimmers. So I'm going to go in with this color on the outer edge, the cut crease. I already put down some uh, NYX glitter primer. Let's, let's see what happens with this. It looks, it looks a little odd. Maybe I'm better off using my finger. It's a, it's a beautiful color. It's sort of hard to describe. Um, green, 
yeah, orangey almost, pinkish. It's beautiful, beautiful color. Okay. Uh, now on the rest of the lid, I think I'm going to go in with this the lightest color, which is a shimmer. And we're going to see how that works. Let's try with the finger. I don't know if it's if it's showing up, but it's like this beautiful champagne tone. I'm I'm happy with the effect that I'm getting. I just have to play with it a little bit more. Okay, that looks uh that looks really good. Mm, just have to do a little bit of blending and uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and we'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I did the same effect on the other eye and uh, I'm very pleased with it. This champagne shimmer is just so beautiful. I, I hope it's showing up on camera. Uh, it, it almost looks like liquid metal. Um, really really beautiful color okay so really i think that's as much as i want to do with the top of the eye and now we're going to work on the bottom of the eye and uh oh also forgot to mention i went in with a little bit of this this dark shimmer here um in the in the corner just to sort of give a little bit more depth and uh, it worked very nicely. And I think that's actually the color we're going to go in with to begin with on the bottom of the eye. As soon as I can find my brush. Found one. You know, I've heard rumors of, of something called cleaning your brushes. I, I don't understand what that means exactly. To clean one's brushes. Hmm. I should research that. Okay, so I'm going in with that very dark shimmer. I mean, it, it almost looks like a black. It's, it's so pigmented. And, um... So I wanted a little bit of that, and then we're going to go in with uh, this middle shimmer. Because with only six colors, I mean, I really want to use everything that's here in this palette. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, I'm back. Uh, uh, well, I did a little bit of liner work. Uh, of course, I finished the under eye on both eyes. I put some of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white in the waterline. And uh, did mascara. And I think, I think we're good. So I'm going to finish up the rest of the face, um, put a look together, and we're going to come back and uh, we will discuss this little chestnut frog palette. And we're back. And here it is, my finished look with the Languid Chestnut Toad palette. I still have trouble wrapping my 
brain around the name of that palette. But uh, I have to say, I love this look. I love how it came out. What do you think? So, of course, I know you're wondering what I did to complete the look. Well, of course, there was my normal drag contouring and highlighting. And actually, actually, I used, I used this Matt Brown to do the contouring. And I think it, it worked out pretty good. And I also went back into the palette and I used the reddish brown matte for blush and that worked really nicely as well and then this really really bright champagne shimmer well I use that as my highlight and uh, I have to say it's it's gorgeous I love how it came out as for my lip I just finished that off with my Stila liquid lip in the color Aria I love this color, it's kind of a dark berry, and I thought it was a nice compliment to the greenish, grungy look of the, uh, of the eye makeup. So that's what I did using the Languid Chestnut Toad palette from Tammy Tanuka. I hope I'm getting all these names right. I have to say, I was very impressed with the pigmentation, the quality of the shadows, everything went on the eye beautifully. Uh, I have nothing, nothing bad to say about this palette, only good. And I really love the fact that they had it available in a standard size and this little mini vacation size. I just think uh, it makes it so much more attainable for somebody who wants to try out a new company, a new formula, without having to go all out and buy a huge palette that you don't know if you're going to love it or or hate it or what and uh, uh fortunately with this you know i love it i love this little i love the little <laughs> language chestnut toad he's so cute <laughs> so i didn't i didn't think it was going to be possible with this little palette but uh yeah it's drag worthy it really is i i love the look that i came up with so um the proof is in the pudding as i always say so, of course, would I recommend this palette? Yes, definitely. Uh, and for a palette that came all the way from Russia, it came really quick. I was very, very surprised. Uh, who would have guessed? Now, if you like this video, then please hit the like button down below and let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job, okay? And, of course, if you want to see more videos like this from me, where I take a palette and create a drag look, well, then you need to... Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that, again, YouTube lets you know when I have a new video out. You can always catch me twice a month on Naughty or Nice, my internet variety show that I do with the horror diva Alexis Flame. All the details for that are listed down below. And then there is my weekly podcast, God I'll Get You for That, Walter. That's the review show I do with Tom Cat. We watch episodes of the 1970s sitcom Maud, which starred B. Arthur, and we discuss it, we laugh about it, we make jokes, we comment on how things from back then are still the same today, and we're still struggling with a lot of the same issues and problems, but we do it with a lot of laughs along the way. And all the details for that are also listed down below. So that is all that I have for you today, kids. I hope that you enjoyed this review of the Languid Chestnut Toad palette from Tammy Tanuka. And I will see you all again in the next video. Bye-bye.